of NWAC. I am a Métis woman and I'd like to take a moment today to this moment right now to acknowledge my uh, Indigenous ancestors, Elizabeth McPherson and Equestens Okipiko Kive. So we have some, this is a very special moment for us today. And I'd like to begin by acknowledging the Algonquin Anishinaabeg people whose traditional and unceded territory that we're gathered on right now. Um, I'm honored to be here myself with all of you to mark the start of our construction of NWAC Social and Cultural Innovation Center here in Gatineau, Quebec, La Belle Province. We have been planning the development of this project for over two years and it is finally happening now. Um, NWAC was established in 1974, but today really marks a new beginning. So to ensure we embark on this journey in a good way, NWAC's elder Roseanne uh, Martin will be doing a spiritual groundbreaking ceremony to open this space. And NWAC's interim president, Gail Paul, will conclude with some very inspiring words for all of us. The construction of this building is a significant step to economic empowerment, resilience and healing of Indigenous women and girls in, in across Canada. A centre like this one does not exist in Canada nor in the world at this time. This centre will be a hub for healing and social and cultural innovation. It will be a best practice model not only in Canada but in the world. We will offer supports and services and workshops tailored to the needs of Indigenous women and girls and gender diverse people who are impacted by ongoing structural, institutional, individual and aggravated forms of discrimination and sexism and stereotypes in Canada. The recent final inquiry report describes all of this and it called it a genocide stemming from colonization. Most importantly, part of NWAC's new model of social and cultural innovation includes a resiliency centre. And this resiliency centre will provide survivors, community members and families of MMIWG with a place to heal and receive services. It will offer trauma-informed, culturally appropriate and gender-based services, infusing traditional healing medicines and teachings. The Resiliency Centre is also practical response to the need for ongoing aftercare and support for the families post-inquiry. It is a response to Truth and Reconciliation Commission's call to action and the missing and murdered Indigenous women and girls call for justice to address harms impacting Indigenous people. Indigenous women play a vital role in transmitting cultural teachings and knowledge to the next generation and we must be central in the process of reconciliation, honouring and healing of our families and communities. Through our centre, we will strengthen and reclaim many of our traditions. We will give our women the tools and supports they need to heal and succeed. The Social and Cultural Innovation Centre is also a hub for economic empowerment of Indigenous women entrepreneurs and business owners. Both aspiring and established Indigenous women and gender diverse entrepreneurs will be able to sell their items in NWAC's boutique called Original. We will also have our own exclusive cafe called Boulot and uh, we have pro approved project funding to establish supports for Indigenous women in business. It is important to acknowledge the support that NWAC has received from Indigenous Services Canada, Heritage Canada, Employment and Social Development Canada and Agriculture Agri-Foods Canada. We are also supported in this world-class initiative by the United Nations UN Women Executive Director. NWAC is a leading ex by example in this unique initiative within Canada. By working together, to defend and advance Indigenous inherent rights and provide much needed services, we can help to ensure well-being of our communities. The time is now to make our voices heard and to act on the Truth and Reconciliation recommendations and the inquiry calls for justice. There's no need to wait any longer. We've waited long enough. The time is now for our needs to be a priority. And I would also like to specially thank our board of directors who have supported us throughout the development of this project. 
and I would like to thank all of you for your hard work and your patience throughout the planning stages of the construction of, of our new home. I sincerely thank all of you for your dedication to the mission and vision of the Native Women's Association of Canada. Thank you, merci, miigwetch, and I would like Roseanne now to begin the spiritual ceremony. George Paul many many years ago and he went on a seven day um, fast and at the end of four days he couldn't um, he, he didn't understand why the spirits and the ancestors weren't coming to him and all that so he went back in for another additional three days and somewhere along there between the first and the seventh day this song came to him and it goes like this Get me there, 
Dakota member of Woodstock First Nation in the Wollastiquig Territory in New Brunswick. I'm also the interim president of the Native Women's Association of Canada. I will begin by acknowledging the Algonquin and Anishinaabe people whose traditional and unceded territory we are gathered on here today. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate the official groundbreaking of NWAC Social and Cultural Innovation Centre. The Social and Cultural Innovation Center that you see behind me today is a dream come true for all Indigenous women across Canada. The center is more than a building. It's the hard work, determination and dedication that has gone into making this building possible. It represents what is possible when Indigenous women have their voices heard and respected. It's also a reminder of our potential and our spirit. Indigenous women, girls, and gender diverse people continue to face underrepresentation and a lack of political voice in local, provincial, and federal governments. Our voices must be heard. Our voices will be heard. Indigenous women continue to be marginalized socially, politically, and economically. We continue to have our rights to self determination denied our human rights violated, and it's time to end the genocide against Indigenous women, girls, and gender diverse people. We have to move forward. We want to move forward. We must advocate against those who oppress us, those who violate our human rights. This social and cultural innovation center is one step forward, one step towards a journey of many others. It, will, it provides supports and services that are created by Indigenous women for Indigenous women. A place where we feel safe, where we feel understood, where we will fe feel secure and empowered. It will be a place for women to heal, reconnect, grow, all in the aftermath of the MMIWG2S QQIA genocide findings. It's an aftermath, it is genocide. This place will bring us hope. It'll bring us health. It'll be a place to celebrate our culture, who we are, our resilience, and this is going to be our future. There are many more steps for us to take in this journey. We will continue to find ways to empower our women and to improve the economic well-being of all Indigenous women, girls, and gender diverse people. We are also committed to advocating for the implementation of the calls for justice resulting from the inquiries report. As I said, the Social and Cultural Innovation Centre is more than just a building. We hope it'll be an inspiration for Indigenous women to continue to advocate construction of social and cultural innovation centers in every province across the country, every territory across the country. Miigwech, Lewin, Hadamia, thank you, Melsey. <laughs> 